demonstrate a martial art called Katori Shinto Ru. It's over 600 years old, so it survived a long time in Japan, and it's the oldest martial art of weapons in Japan. Katori Shinto Ru is considered a Koru martial art, which is ancient martial art, so it's different than like Aikido, Kendo, Judo, which is more of a modern mar martial art. So today we have a father and son who drive about an hour and a half to train with us and they're going to be demonstrating EI Jitsu or the quick draw of the sword. They've been training for about six to eight months and you usually start with the EI Jitsu or the sword training with a live blade so you have to be very careful when you're training so you don't injure yourself or somebody else and they're going to demonstrate both seated kata and standing kata This is the ritualistic bowing out of the sword. So when you finish, this is the closing. Kind of show respect to your sword and the training. much give me a round of applause. And the reason Katori Shinto Ru lasted over 600 years is the techniques are hidden within the katas. So you'll notice the sticks are hitting together, but that's just... 
an illusion of what you're actually doing. So you're not actually hitting the weapons, but if you had a rival clan watching you, you didn't give away your secrets. So that's why you can't really tell exactly what they're doing unless you've trained for 10, 20 years. But this is actually the movements that they, you know, defended their lives with, their family, their village. Thank you very much. I'm surprised he is hey. doing it. Hey. I stayed there when I hey. This is my favorite weapon because it's very difficult because you have to use your entire body to move that weapon. So it's very difficult because see, she's cutting it as groin. It's kind of hard to defend when somebody's swinging a big blade at your groin. If you're interested, Dala Sensei is the Goju Ru teacher. He's a representative from Okinawa. Very good Goju Ru teacher. Very good. Watch out for the gully there. <laughs> this is probably good for us to train because in the dojo, <laughs> it's too easy. So this is a lot more difficult. two swords <laughs> so this is very difficult because swords are very heavy so you have to use your whole body to move that weapon so it's very difficult
Notice as the person attacks, he's cutting the wrist of the person with the sword. We call this the Edward Scissorhands technique. So if you lose your sword, you only have a short sword left. So these are techniques to defend yourself. In case you lose the long sword, you have a backup weapon. I'll draw it. That is for sure that I can use this now. And then I'll run. What did you do? Okay. Kyoshi Paul has about a uh, 30 to 40 year background in hey! various styles of martial arts. Most of it has been studying Tori. Hey! Well, thank you for joining us, and uh, let's give a big round of applause for everybody that put this together. Hopefully we'll have more people next year. Thank you. Good night.